We all know that Apple strives to make its products as accessible as possible. One component of this is having your iPhone or Mac read to you. Now in Mac OS, this is all handled in the Accessibility Preferences pane. There you can select from a bunch of different voices, including the four modern Siri voices and Alex, which has been the default voice since it debuted back with Mac OS X Leopard. This preference pane also lets you see how the sound changes at various speeds. Most people recognize me by my voice. Most people recognize me by my voice. There are a bunch of other voices you can use too. If you select Customize from the drop down menu, you can download a bunch of novelty voices, which are pretty weird. The light you see at the end of the tunnel is the headlamp of a fast approaching train. I need to go on a really long vacation. Please stop it. <laughs> Now, if you've been around the Mac for a long time, you probably recognize some of those voices because they're all ripped straight out of the classic Mac OS. The light you see at the end of the tunnel is the headlamp of a fast approaching train. <laughs> There are some more straightforward voices in macOS today that also come from the classic macOS. Here are just a few. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. When I grow up, I'm going to be a scientist. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. When I grow up, I'm going to be a scientist. Interestingly, some of the individual timings of the voices have changed, but overall the sound is effectively the same as you can see in these two clips of the junior voice. My favorite food is pizza. When I first came across this, I was stunned. I remember playing with these voices when I was little using the Mac at elementary school, but that's 25 years ago and now, here they are, in classic Mac OS running on modern hardware. I found this really interesting, and so I reached out to my friend and accessibility expert, Shelly Brisbane, and she and I basically agree. The files are small, the voices are fun, and Apple never wants to take away accessibility options, so they've stuck around all this time. Thanks for coming on this little adventure with me. I hope you had as much fun with it as I did. Now this is YouTube, so be sure to do all the YouTube things, uh, subscribe to the channel, uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.